it's been 20 years. Let's go to when Mike Vick was um drafted. Sure. I, I kind of did this mental exercise, then I actually wrote it down, and I was surprised what I found out. In 20 years, how many quarterbacks would you say, Grant, were they lived up to their first round billing? Jeez, if I had to put a percentage on it, like 25. 25%. Okay. That's that's close to accurate. I came up with 16 quarterbacks. Ooh. Now, you could anyone could disagree with me. I'm gonna give you the list and I'm gonna give it to you from year to year. Now you got Mike Vick, you got Mike Vick, Carson Palmer, Eli, Ben, Phillip, Rogers, Matt Stafford, Matt Ryan, Cam Newton, Andrew Luck, Tannehill, Mahomes, Watson. Lamar Jackson, Kyler Murray, and Herbert. Now, the criteria is they had to be drafted in the first round and live up to the billing that they came into it with. Now, now Burrow could eventually or some other guys, but, yeah, that's, that's a really good list. You didn't – yeah, that's a really good list. You didn't miss, mention Drew Brees. That was not a first-round pick. Yeah, of course. He wasn't I, I'm first you round. That. I'm with you. Okay, yeah, so now, now, now watch this. How many years was that? How many years was that? 20 years. The last 20 years. 20, 20 years. So there's not even a guarantee on a given year that you'll get a quarter one. And this year is Trevor Lawrence. So why are you expecting that the third dude is going to be anything other than, I'm not going to say it, but I feel you on it, man. I feel you. 2004, you had Ben, Eli, and Phillip. That was the only year that had three that actually lived up to something. You got four right. Super Bowls out of that. Yes. You got one out of Rodgers and you got one out of Mahomes. That's, That's right. six Super Bowls in 20 years from a first-round right. starting quarterback. That's right. Pey That's right. Peyton, he was already in the league. So Peyton has three. Drew mm -hmm. Brees is a second round pick. Yep. Russell Wilson is a third round pick. That's right. Then you got two Super Bowls where the defense won with Tampa Bay. The Ravens won two Super Bowls. Then Brady with six, a yeah. six round pick. Look how many misses since 2012. RG3, Blake Bortles, Johnny Manziel, Bridgewater, Goff, Wentz, Excellent. Winston, Mariota, Trubisky. Everyone in Lamar's class but Lamar. Yeah. And I'm throwing two in Burrow on that list because the reason I throw Burrow on the list, the reason I never liked Burrow when he was coming out was he couldn't beat out those Ohio State quarterbacks when he was at Ohio State. And he had one magic carpet ride year in LSU, and all of a sudden he was all the rave in one year. Who does that sound like? Every quarterback in this class. So my thing is – it's more about the team. I heard you make that comparison earlier. Like you, you, I just gave it to you. First round quarterbacks only accounted for six Super Bowls. Yep. Everybody else was in the later rounds and yep. two defensive Super Bowls. Yep. Now, the reason I made my case for Pitts was where is Jimmy Garoppolo's biggest deficiencies when he's throwing interceptions? Over the middle. In the over the middle. Yeah. If you have twelve personnel with Pitts and Kittles. Operating like a hammerhead in a great white, you own the middle of the field. Now you just, you've just eliminated one of Jimmy Garoppolo's biggest deficiencies, which is throwing in the middle of the field. Kyle Pitts and the reason is like a vacuum cleaner, he has the longest arms ever recorded. He's so good. Yes. Come on, you don't think Kyle Pitts takes that ball from Kendricks in that um the the Minnesota playoff game? That's right. Like That's if, right. if Jimmy messes up that throw, Kyle Pitts makes it up. People don't understand yeah. the mean. quarterback. And the receiver is a symbiotic relationship. We need each other. It's great as good number as Kittle one. is. As good as Kittle is, he's not a contested catch guy. He's a yards after he's, the catch break a tackle guy. He's not a red zone threat, bro. He has 12 touchdowns in three years. Kelsey, right. in the same amount of years, has 26 touchdowns. That's right. And that's this guy is a super Travis Kelsey, man. He's Travis Kelsey exactly. with four speed. Yep. So now yeah. imagine what you could do with Kelsey. I mean, with um Pitts it's, on the red zone. Because now you could detach him from the line and tell him, go win the one-on-one -on -one jump ball matchup. That's not Kittle's game. Right, and now Kittle's you got a defense is, trying to defend Kittle and Pitts on the same play. <laughs> Good luck. And now, if you, and now you overcommit to them. I got Debo and Ayuk and Mostert still. Like, it, it, it causes now in that offense, you dictate to the defense. And let's say – And then what um, quarterback doesn't succeed with that supporting cast? What quarterback doesn't who, succeed? Put Josh Rosen who, back there. Thank you. They, Thank that's you. my point. Um, if 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 Jimmy can't succeed, then I mean, this is his life, Jack. I mean, his life raft year anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So now I heard a lot of people like, what can Jimmy teach the um the up and coming quarterback? Like I would do a look like you draft Kelly Mon in the second, sit him Thank down, let Jimmy, you know, work on him. But Jimmy isn't going to be the mentor. 
But one thing you can say about Jimmy, and every 49er fan could say this, Jimmy is a professional. Yes. They've dragged Jimmy around for close to two years now. He hasn't said a peep. Nope. So he can at least teach Kellen Mond that part of the game. Agree. And Agreed. how much more attractive is your organization for outside free agents like Aaron Rodgers, who's coming up next year? I mean, out of the two organizations, um, the 49ers and Tampa Bay were the only ones that intrigued Brady enough. He called the 49ers. You're the ones who told him, no, we're good. That's right. So he went away and he went won a Super Bowl with the second best roster that he saw. Yes. Your roster is still intact with Jimmy. You could trade Jimmy. Yep. And I know people aren't going to like it. You could trade Kittles. Yep. For right. a first round pick. And That's maybe right. you're still in the, the Watson. And thing. now you're recouping assets that you gave up to get this guy. Yes. And you and you've gotten younger and cheaper. Correct. Correct. And, you know, so, people talk about Jimmy. A. Hey, you know, he's he's missing time and about Kittle. Kittle plays a ten, very violent style of football, man. Ten games in three years. That's right. Travis Kelsey has been in the league seven years. He's missed two games. That's right. So I, it seems to me that it's not a question of drafting for need. It's a question of drafting the best player available. And if you don't take Kyle Pitts, you're going to pass on a Hall of Famer, and your fan base is going to let you hear about it for the next 30 years. Maybe not Come at the time, but down the line. You took Alex Smith when you should have took Aaron Rodgers. You, uh, the Raiders took Jamarcus <laughs> Russell when they should have took Calvin Johnson because they needed a quarterback. Well, it, 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 it speaks like I just went through the list. How many of these quarterbacks um, set their teams back a yeah. couple years? And uh, imagine, look, go through the list. How many How players long did it take Washington up on? to get past trading up for RG3? Exactly. Catastrophic. Catastrophic. Come on, man.